This is a common picture of a youth today who is constantly bombarded with varying media messages. The question now is that, will he be able to select appropriate messages and carefully utilize them for his benefit? Secondly, are youths of today still allotting enough time for their academics, given their wide exposure to media? This is a title of my paper, The Confluence Power of Media in Today's Youth, Media Literacy at Work. I am Dr. Amir Philip Jones V. Sonsona from Mindanao University of Science and Technology, Cagayan de Oro, Philippines. Name a gadget, latest music, fashion, and style. Youths of today are always updated. They may use media for entertainment or education, or the term edutainment applies. Their choices vary, and this might have significant impact on their academic standing. Aside from media literacy, this study aims to understand the factors that may affect academic performance. Further, this paper also seeks to determine how media can improve students' learning. Lastly, media exposure and school performance have not been studied thoroughly during the past years. For the statement of the problem, the paper sought to determine the academic performance in relation to mass media exposure, considering the number of hours spent by the youths for studying, their academic performance, their mass media exposure, and a significant relationship between mass media exposure and academic performance, and which variables may exert significant influence to the youths of today. The study can greatly contribute to the following. School administrators, they may be guided in polishing and enhancing their media curriculum or the degree program offering. Second, teachers can realize the importance of using media as a good springboard for their lessons and utilize them for students' assignments and projects. Third, parents can better guide their students on their media acquisition. And lastly, students can greatly benefit from this study as they can get the appropriate means of realizing the immense power of media on how they are shaped and molded through this many forms of media. The study is anchored on three theories. First, uses and gratification theory presupposes an approach to understanding why and how people actively seek out specific media to satisfy their needs, while cultivation theory explains the reality of this media to consumers or viewers, and magic bullet theory posets that media has a direct injection type effect that is directly received and wholly accepted by the audiences. As part of the methodology, survey questionnaire was utilized as the research tool in ascertaining the mass media exposure and academic performance among freshman communication students in Cagayan de Oro, Philippines. The statistical tools are simple percentage, and mode, weighted mean, and ANOVA general linear model. For the highlights of findings, first, it was revealed that youths of today normally study for two to three hours per day. This result affirmed the recommendation given by College Parents of America in 2013 that the general rule of thumb for college students for each class should be two to three hours study time for each hour they spend in class. While Hart in 2014 also supported this 
by saying that on average, students are expected to study two to three hours per day for every hour they attend class. Respondents' academic performance based on their general weighted average was rated as average. When it comes to their mass media exposure, it was revealed that respondents spent one to three hours for broadcast and electronic media. This means that they are watching TV and other forms of electronic media for this particular one to three hours. They regard home as the best place for reading, while for getting online, internet cafes are sought for, and research purposes of the net rank first among its many features. The correlation value between media exposure and academic performance yielded electronic media's significant influence towards youth's academic performance. This means that youngsters have valued not only the entertainment domain of the internet but also its educational dimension. Or, this means that they have recorded or regarded a balance between the two through edutainment. Of all the variables under mass media, electronic exposure once again manifested a significant relationship to respondents' academic performance. This supports the many results of the studies that youths of today are very much exposed to audiovisual features of broadcast media, like that of how-to videos from YouTube, that students are not only entertained, but they also gain valuable learning. This paper concluded that students have recognized the importance of being exposed to mass media as the latter provided an avenue for possible learning, like that of educational videos and educational contents of wikis and other web pages. Equally vital is that this study has manifested that study hours is associated with college students academic performance. The more hours they spend for studying, then the better is their academic standing. Moreover, academic performance of the students was enhanced by their exposure to electronic media. Baldoff in 2009 contended that college students should develop motivational and time management strategies. As this paper found out also that respondents should do much to improve their study hours and study habits. This study recommends that as critical media users, parents, and teachers should remind college students to be more selective by not just purely accepting what media gives and offers, but to be more critical in their media usage. Specifically, as second parents, teachers can use media by giving intellectually stimulating activities, like using TV programs and even advertisements alongside their media use, and lastly, Students should be able to strike a good balance between what they obtain from media and thus learn and apply media literacy at all times. This has been Dr. Amir Philip Jones V. Sonsona. For inquiries and more details, you may contact me through rumfieldjoe at gmail.com. Thank you very much and I hope that you are able to learn something from my presentation.